Let's talk about the Scholastic Art and Writing Competition. The Scholastic Competition is a regional, then national uh, event where they judge artworks. I want to start this off by saying that I don't think that art is a world that can, can be judged or necessarily should be a competition. Art should be something that is in the eye of the beholder, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and someone may love one artwork and hate the next, and that doesn't mean that that artwork they didn't like isn't valuable. Vincent van Gogh was very un underappreciated during his entire life, and look at his artwork now. However, with that being said, if you're the kind of person that wants to compete and you want to be able to have an artwork sent to the Scholastic Art and Writing Competition, then we need to talk about uh, the submission. The submission is due on 11-30-2022, and so I need you to enter this in in the next couple days by Wednesday. I'm going to be taking photos of art um, work, so I need to know if you're interested or not very soon. You need to... Um, send me an email with a picture of the artwork that you would like to compete and then I'll talk to you personally whether I think that should be sent to the competition or not. If you want to send it, send it anyways, you can do that yourself through the Scholastic and Writing Competition um, website. It will cost you $10 to submit it, um, but if yeah, I'm submitting submitting it. I want to pay for half of it. So you'll be responsible for $5 and I'll pay $5 towards the competition fees. Um, once again, that needs to be submitted through an email very soon. And I'm not going to be submitting artworks that I don't think could do well in the competition. And what I mean by that is a lot of people that have a certain style don't always do well in the competition. In Scholastic, they're going to be looking for things that are more realistic and that have technical difficulties, something that they can justify their, their judging for. And so I want to show you a few from the previous year and show you kind of what they're looking for. They're wanting to look for very clean lines. They're wanting to look for the entire piece to be completed. They want to look for something that's an original thought and an original idea. And they're, they're really looking for those fine technical difficulty skills. And so these are a few that have done well in the Scholastic competition. And you need to look at your own artwork and ask yourself, is this something that's more my style and something that I like? Or is this something that a large mass would like and be able to see the technical difficulties within the artwork? Um, the Scholastic judge is judged by several different judges. Most of them will be retired art teachers or college professors or just people that are in the art world. And so they're looking for something that can be judged and um, in a way that they can justify saying that this piece is better than that piece because it was more difficult to make this artwork. If you have a highly stylized um, way of creating art, that is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, this piece here is very rough and very loose, loosely painted. That is a style that I personally love more than a, than a very crisp line. However, a loose style might not do as well as this piece that you see here, where it was very technical and obvious that she spent a lot of time on it. Okay, that's my pitch for Scholastic. If you are interested in doing it, you need to see me in the next couple days or send me an email with a picture of what you want to send to the Scholastic Art Competition and start thinking about whether you want to pay the $5 per artwork fee for that. Um, so get with me soon, and I look forward to this year. If we do wind up getting your piece in the competition, if it gets a silver key or a gold key, that does not necessarily mean that you'll get a scholarship. There are very few scholarships for these competitions, but we will travel to Plainview and see this show here in this photo. Um, they'll put your artwork up on the wall at a, at a university, the University of Wayland Baptist University, and we will make a whole day of it. And it's quite a bit of fun if you do get to have a piece that's in there. It is quite an honor to get to have a gold key in the gold key room. And then we may even go see some professional artworks as well at the Luca Underwood Center of the Arts here in Lubbock on that same day. And that's what we're doing here. So I look forward to this year. I look forward to, um, to doing this competition 
But once again, I don't think artwork is all about composition. So if you're not interested in that, that is fine as well. Thank you for your time. And I look forward to hearing from you.